I am Commander Daniel Lopez, and it is my honor on behalf of VFW Post 12034, Band of Brothers, to welcome you to this Veterans Day celebration. At this time, I would like our Chaplain John Chauvin to come up for our opening invocation. I'm John Chauvin. To our veterans, thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Welcome home. May this prayer written by Beth McLendon of Inspirational Prayers be a blessing to you today. Remove covers for the gentlemen. Let us bow our heads. Almighty God, you are our creator and sustainer. You are our light and our fortress. You are our wisdom and strength. Lord, you moved upon men to establish this great nation. You stirred men to hope and to dream for a land of freedom. We praise you for this great nation. Lord, you have inspired many of our best and brightest to volunteer to proudly stand and defend our beloved country. You have given us brave and loyal men and women who have steadfastly served in their chosen branch of our military. We gather today to remember our military personnel. We acknowledge that their service enables us to walk as free men and women in this great land. Lord, today we seek to honor your sons and daughters who have served or who are serving our country. We are reminded that because of their service, we can live in safety. We ask that you abundantly bless those who have preciously served. May their service time be rewarded in every way. May they gain earthly and heavenly blessings from their unselfish love of our country. Lord, we stop now and remember those who are currently serving. We ask that you provide them with your protection, your strength, and your peace. We ask that you would abundantly provide for all their needs. We ask that you would enable them to overcome every personal and professional obstacle. We ask that you would protect their families from hurt and harm. May each of our veterans feel honored, not just today, but every day. Father, we also give special recognition to our wounded warriors. We realize that many of our heroes are dealing with physical and emotional wounds that occurred as a result of their time of service to our country. We ask that they would be given the best treatment available and that you would add your supernatural blessing to all the efforts given to them to assist them. We ask that you, Lord, would show them miracles as they seek to gain health, stability, and wholeness. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, I would like Life Scout Dallas Lopez of Laverne Troop 411 to come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. Due to the conclusion of the war to end all wars, November 11th became a universally recognized day of celebration. This day was originally declared Armistice Day, eight years after the end of World War I, and it only honored those veterans of that particular war. Then in 1954, 
after World War II and the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day. This was to honor all veterans who served America in a war to defend democracy. So today, we honor our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. Those men and women were ordinary people until they heard the call of duty and they answered it. They left their families, their homes, their lives. Not for recognition or fame or even the honor that we bestow upon them today. They fought to protect our country, to maintain our way of life. As we honor our veterans, and remember their great deeds, let us also salute those who are currently fighting for our freedom today. The war on terrorism has helped us all realize how utterly unique the American way of life is. The freedom that we enjoy is extremely special, and that is why we must defend it. So now is the time not to only honor those who have fought, who are fighting for our freedom, it is also the time for each of us to take part in protecting it. The defense of freedom is not just for those in the military. Each of us share that duty and that responsibility. We, are, we do not have to join the Army or the Air Force or any other organization of defense to actively defend our way of life. We can protect our freedom simply by maintaining it here, here in America. If we want to preserve our freedoms, we must put them into action by voting in elections or speaking out against injustice. We must also ensure that everyone feels the benefits of freedom. And we can do that by volunteering in our communities or teaching our children what it really means to be an American. Veterans Day is not just a day for veterans. It is a day for all Americans. It is a day to remember why they are fighting and a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. So I say to you all, thank you for honoring our veterans. Let us all walk toward tomorrow, still honoring them by living in the freedom that they protect. At this time, we will have the raising of the flag of the United States.
At this time, I'd like Chaplain John Chauvin to come up for our closing benediction. Again, gentlemen, remove covers. Let us bow our heads for the benediction. May the strength of God sustain us. May the way of God direct us. May the love of God go with us this day and forever. Amen. Thank you for thinking of veterans today and for helping to honor those brave men and women. I also challenge you to keep America great by respecting each other and treat each other as you want to be treated. This concludes our Veterans Day celebration and thank you for joining us.